The MRC unit in the Gambia has been here for the last 20 years and has contributed to defeating disease of public health importance in West Africa and also Sub-Saharan Africa. The research program is divided in three teams, disease control elimination, vaccines and immunity and nutrition. For the next five years, from 2016 to 2021, we are going to focus on infectious disease of public health importance, research into maternal mortality and neonatal mortality, continue to look at nutrition and nutrition-related diseases, try to strengthen our work in non-communicable diseases, and create a much stronger alliance in West Africa, and help decreasing the high burden of mortality and morbidity in the Gambia, in West Africa, and in Sub-Saharan Africa. We design and evaluate interventions that are aimed basically at decreasing the disease burden, but also community transmission that is very important. We already know that vaccines save about two and a half million lives of children every year. We are aiming to do even better by conducting clinical trials of vaccines yet to be developed and on the other hand conduct detailed laboratory science to investigate how the immune system of newborn babies reacts to vaccination and infection and vaccines that might have been given to their mothers in pregnancy. Worldwide, there are about 10 million children dying every year. Approximately half of them are due to malnutrition. We have something rather incredible in MRC Kenabar where we have sophisticated laboratories and a wonderful clinic right in the middle of the bush. And that allows us to do fundamental research that most other groups around the world wouldn't be able to achieve. At the unit, we believe in robust processes and impeccable research conduct to produce world-class science with maximum impact in West Africa and beyond. The pride of our facility really is that we are accredited in the routine labs to ISO 15189 standards. Those labs have also been accredited to support clinical research and they have GCOP status. Our research is people-oriented and central to success in our research is meaningful community engagement and effective communication of crucial research information. MRC Unit The Gambia is at the forefront of clinical research in the West African sub-region. Reducing the burden of preventable maternal, newborn and child illnesses is a priority from pre-pregnancy through pregnancy childbirth and the early days and years of life. We collaborate with the National TB Programme. This gives us opportunity to understand the social determinants, the epidemiology and genetics of TB transmission in the community. The MRC is expanding its outreach beyond the Gambia to the West African sub-region. This is strategically important for us as it enables us to import talent and export our research in communicable and non-communicable diseases to improve health and save lives. The unit operates four health and demographic surveillance sites in the middle and eastern part of the country to generate accurate data that reflects the prevailing burden of disease and mortality in the country, as well as to serve as platforms for epidemiological studies that require long-term follow-up of study participants. We in operations are like the engine of this organization that really uh, makes uh, the machine running and makes the science uh, happen in Fajara, in Basse and in Kenya. Our vision is bold, but we know we can do it because we can attract high caliber scientists. We are going to continue to train junior scientists to be kind of that caliber. We have excellent technical platforms. Ultimately, we'll be able to maintain our uh, position of leader in global health research.